Okay, room tour slash music tour part one. In this video, I'm going to show the system that I use to do my archiving. Um, I'll go through the turntable, the cartridge, um, all the phono stage, everything else um, that goes into this. So let's start with the turntable. The turntable is a BPI Scoutmaster. Um, I have added the single motor flywheel and I'm using two belts. You'll notice a crack there. Um, this thing used to be mounted on the wall and it fell. So that's why I got this Kalax and mounted it on that. You can see there the Eden Terra footers. Um, I replaced the feet with that. Um, there's my little center weight. Um, there's some Herbie's, um, I don't know what they're called, you know, sort of thing. Just to lift up the single motor flywheel. It all sits on a Ginkgo platform. Um, there's, the, there's the platter. Um, the thing with the three spikes, that is a trans by Resomat. Um, it used to cover the whole platter, but I cut it down. So there's minimal Minimal, minimal record touching the, the three spikes. My tone arm is a TransFi Terminator air bearing linear arm. Um, it was handmade in England by a retired dentist. Um, it's an amazing, amazing tone arm. Um, wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, my cartridge is a Audio Technica AT150 Anniversary Edition. Um, I have replaced the stylus with an AT150 MLX, um, so I kind of call it the Frankencart. There are my blue jean cables, which come down and they feed into the Black Ice Audio Fusion F159 that was designed by um, Jim Fosgate of Fosgate Electronics. It's a tube phono stage with a crosstalk um, stage built into it. Um, the tubes are uh, 1963 Ampirics, um, new old stock that I got from Brent Jesse. Um, they're the best tubes I've ever heard for 3D sound staging. Um, that feeds into this. This is in a Sugar Cube SC2, which is my analog to digital converter and my clip remover. I set this on level of 3 by default. Um, it goes up to 10, but I just use 3. This is an excellent analog to digital converter and is the best click remover on the market by far. Um, got some tools here. Ooh. Oh, there's my, sorry. My Phoenix Engineering Eagle power supply unit and the Roadrunner, which is a tachometer. Um, when, my, when the platter spins, the tachometer measures the speed and then the power supply will change the, the speed to keep it at 33 and a third or 45 RPM. Kind of an essential thing with a belt drive turntable since most of them do tend to drift. Um, here's my jeweler's loop to look at my stylus. Um, there's my flux, um, what's that one? I think an ultrasonic um, stylus cleaner. That's what I dip my stylus in right there. There are some brushes. And that's about it for, for this system. Um, I don't have this hooked up to speakers. Like I said, it's only made for um, for recording. But that's that bad boy. Um, now we'll go upstairs and take the music tour. <laughs> 